Hello, everybody. This is Freddie Wright Myers. Welcome to FM213 Off Screen. And today we're going to be talking about Poetry Glass by Peyton Parrish. Now, I'm going to recall this reaction, but I already watched this. So there's going to be like a second watch of reaction. And I did a review for him. And this time I want to do a, like a video format review for him because he's a little nervous about a little bit of change up on music and he wants to make sure that the whole audience is going to be happy of the change and then maybe go further on doing more of that type of music. So let's watch it and see what is going on. Let's change it up. I didn't really watch the video either, so that actually this will help. Alright, so this time I want to do a little bit better review for him because I did um, actually did a little bit of review and now I actually come to think about it because I was dealing with kids yesterday and everything and it was really hard to just really spill out and not only that, speaking it out for me is actually a lot easier to talk about a really a good review in general but I, I basically said a, <clears throat> in, the, in the comments down below what you can see you basically um, is what's awesome for him. He's trying to be really well that connection with engage with the audience and try to be inspiring 
um, musician in it. I see why I thought of Elvis because he got that leather jacket and uh, Les Paul. <clears throat> the first thing I could think of is <laughs> Elvis Presley is like that popped into my head right there. That is uh, a lot more inspiring that way in, in general. However, um, the drums and the guitar is awesome. How they were basically connected in a way that it was like, it reminds me of 10 years ago or maybe even a little bit more like 20 years ago, a little bit. And that's what they're actually, what their goal was. Actually, I come, come to think about it. They want to do a, like more like the two thousands era. So it definitely reminds me of that where like the older disturbed or they get in that feeling of drive and everything. There's more of the feeling of motion into it and everything. Cause that's what's really, this song is more, front it's the emotions is in front and what i like about this one what peyton has done because he still got that growl and the growl reminds me of more of that what he's already done basically he, he has already done like that the viking stuff he has done um a little bit more of like a heavier rock or this kind of reminds me more of like asking alexandra or i think it's asking alexandra that's kind of what it reminds me of a little bit just around that time when I was <clears throat> in high school era and everything. I guess I'm getting up there in age a little bit more. Um, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. And it's well done around. The the breaks in between definitely helped out the song to have that long drive. It's, an, it's amazing how silence and then proceed on. You know, then it's like, and then you can move forward because you're not just punching a bag so many times when you're, when it's, I'm thinking of fist in the air now, when you punch in a bag so many times, you're going to get tired. But so when you get those breaks, when you get those breaks and everything, you're going to, you have to stop for a minute and then over and over again. And that's so it's like that breaks helps that song to keep that length the way it is, even though it's only three minutes and 47 seconds, but it gets you engaged and it really helps you to keep moving forward with it because you're, you're following along because when you're upset with everything, you know, with the, the poetry glass, it, it really, there's a lot, a lot of mixed emotions in there. And that's what I really like about it too. It's just that it's over and over again and, and you're just really trying to push forward. And that's what it really just pushes me like to think of and everything. So to me, and, and I know he's really nervous about this kind of music because that change and everything. So with it, to me, I think the change is good. Uh, if he, if he watches this, that'd be amazing. So the change is good to me. Change really shows where you're at in your life. It doesn't matter what you do. Um, yes, there might be people that go up and down and what do you like it or not? If you're doing it well, and if it's you with people that really engage with you are going to stick around. And not only that, in my eyes, yeah, it is also, it is, it is awesome to see that he is trying to see if his audience are going to love this. His audience is going to really like the change like this and everything and have, um, opinions and everything. Now, some people are saying that. Um, through TikTok, this is where it was at. There were, excuse me. Um, there were one person said that there. I wish there was a little bit more of a breakdown. Um, maybe next time I would say I had said that before. It's like maybe next time, but I don't think that need it, needed it. That is needed in this song. I don't think it's needed. Also, I w some people said I wish it was more um, more growls into it. He thought the same. I personally will say this. No. The reason why, because uh, you, if you're trying to do a change, go forward with the change like you just did here. Because this is what you felt and this is what you're trying to work on and you try to do as best as you can to perfect it. So I think more growls will congest it a little bit more. I think it's fine where it's at. Like I, I stated, like the way the rhythm and everything is, it's got that motion feeling to it. And then those pauses and then you get that motion back and forth and that mixed emotions and then your how you're feeling it throughout and through and through over and over again like so so i think it's a great job in general i want to do a little bit better review this time just to have it more like an, an answer of 
what I think of this song, why I think it's a really great song. And if you want to move forward with it into my eyes, the people that love you as an artist, people are going to follow what you do. If people just love you as your Viking music, people are not going to really stick around. No, not really too much. Or maybe not going to really watch it too much either. But yes, you do really well. He does really well with the Viking music. Um, but he is human <laughs> like I am. Um, and I have a, I have issues with sticking to one genre. I have major issues with it. because And if you look at my music, it's, it is very heavily mixed right now because I have a hard time sticking to one. And finally, with Peyton, I actually inspired me to really try to push through Viking music. Have I done it recently? No, because I have a lot going on. But the point is, that is the direction I want to go to now because I really love the Viking music. I always have been for a long time. Um, I watch Avior, I watch Scald, you know, listen, not watch, but listen to as well. All those people that are into like that Nordic folk music is something I really enjoy for some reason. And then it, with Peyton is the cherry on top, basically, that pushes me to really try to work on that. And with kids and everything, I, I will eventually will work on that. I'm trying to figure out that out and everything. He's definitely is very inspiring. I think that's the biggest thing. Be inspiring. Keep on doing what you're doing because I think you're doing great. It doesn't sound like it's just you mod podge something together. You actually really worked on it. You can tell by listening to it and everything. So definitely keep on doing what you're doing and st definitely stick towards to stay, stay towards the engagement with your audience because if you're engaged with your audience and you're doing your best you can and you're trying to change it up here and there because you're, you're writing what you feel because as an artist you're going to write what you feel and you're like none of this this has got to be right right here this is how i feel this is my chapter of my life right here this is what i'm going through right now so if you're keeping on engaging and you're doing that as well and you're trying to go through the chapters because people are going through their own chapters Keep on doing that. I'm seriously, keep on doing that. I mean, he's a hell of an artist. You got a hell of a band. So I give you props on that, man. Uh, Peyton Parrish, you're doing great. Uh, don't worry too much. <laughs> don't worry too much. I think all, most of us are going to still be here and love your music. So that's the breakdown. I want to be go a little bit more heart to heart on this one. Definitely check out Peyton Parrish down below. Um, if you like more reaction stuff like this or review like this, definitely like and subscribe as well. And, and I hope I see you guys next time. Take care.